George always liked when friends dropped by. When it was Compass the Pigeon, he really dropped by. George really liked birds, and Compass really liked whatever George was. George thought he'd make a pretty good pigeon. Are you all right, George? Oh, stay right there. I know just what we need. For once, George had no trouble staying where he was told until the man with the yellow hat returned with butter. <laughs> well, this butter is for your foot, George, not for bread. Okay, try now. Well, I guess I'll have to call the fire department. They have the right tools to handle anything. Rescue requested. Someone is stuck in monkey bars on his balcony? Monkey bars on the balcony? Why don't we ever get normal calls? It's not monkey bars on the balcony. It's a monkey stuck in the bars on the balcony. <laughs> Hiya, George. Uh, it's still not normal. Uh, uh, oh, we may have to saw through it. <laughs> she means the chair. Uh, let's use the spreaders. We'll spread the bars apart, and then you can just pull your foot out, George. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> All in a day's work for the fire department. This fire department, anyway. <laughs> nice. Say, George, would you like to visit the firehouse and give them this picture as a thank you? Charky! 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 Did Charky slip out of her collar? Yeah, this is the tenth time she's gotten away this month. She's like an escape artist, but with fur and a tail. Well, we'll keep our eyes peeled. <laughs> Oh, this will look great on our wall. Glad you like it. Now, come on, George, we've got to go. Ah. Oh, George can stay. He'll be our mascot. <laughs> okay, have fun, George. And be a good little monkey mascot. <laughs> George couldn't wait to check out the firehouse tools and equipment. George? George? Hey, have you guys seen George? There's, there's no one up here but us. There was a whole other room at the top of that pole. <laughs> Rescue requested. A dog is up a tree. Oh, that George! It found him! <laughs> hey, George! I found George! <laughs> I wonder how a dog got up a tree! <laughs> I wonder why we never get any normal calls. <laughs> Oh. 
It wasn't perfect. Yet. George's tree had everything a tree has, including a homing pigeon in his new home. <laughs> oh, look at this! Look at this! Wow, that's a lot of dirt. I left Huntley in charge, and when I came back, dirt everywhere. <laughs> If only I spoke dachshund. I wish you spoke pigeon. A homing pigeon's been living on our balcony for... Little blue pigeon with a yellow tag? Yeah. You've seen it too? <laughs> That's Compass. I thought he was lost forever. And I thought the pigeon would be happier on the balcony if it had a small tree to... Oh, no. Oh, bowling ball... What? If one of us spoke dachshund... I bet this wouldn't have been a surprise. George, where are you? <laughs> Is that a tree? George had never felt prouder. Now that he had the perfect home, the bird could live here forever. It's good to see you. Yeah, Compass is an almost homing pigeon. He won't admit he has a weak sense of direction. <laughs> George, the doorman is the pigeon's friend. He came to take him home. <laughs> to his real home. Everybody, look who's home. <laughs> See, he's back where he belongs. I bought it for birds to sit in so you can draw them. Nice effort, George, but birds want to sit in a real tree. Compass, look, a real tree for you. Make yourself at home. Pigeon still didn't know what George was, but he sure made a good tree. George couldn't recall ever seeing the man with the yellow hat looking like this. He was usually calm, cool, and wearing a yellow hat. Oh, here he comes. Hello. Good morning. Come on in. Ready as promised. Ah, it was worth living without it for three long days. <laughs> I'd rather carry it myself, George. You're not gonna wear your hat? No, I, I wanna keep it perfect till tonight. We're going to the opening of the new planetarium dome. Thanks. Uh, let's get home before anything happens to my perfect clean hat. Oh, 
Well, we made it safely. Okay, now George, when I get back, we're going right to the planetarium, so take a bath. There'll be photographers there. I want you to look clean and fluffy. George was going to take a bath, just like he was told. Sure was a perfect hat. Who could resist trying it on? George wanted Compass to see him in the yellow hat. It'd only take a second. George saw the hat fly this way, but it disappeared. <laughs> the hat was back home and still perfect. Almost. George removed the piece of branch as carefully as any surgeon working on any yellow hat could. Okay, there was just a tiny thread there. No problem. Maybe he needed to pull harder. Or maybe it had to be cut off. <laughs> George had forgotten that the last time he used his safety scissors was to cut his strawberry jam and banana sandwich. It was only a small smudge. All he had to do was clean it off. This stiff brush got the grill sparkling like new every time, and the grill got dirtier than the hat. <laughs> He may have scrubbed too hard. He hoped studying the big clock would show him exactly what to do with the little clock. George was glad that noise had stopped. But maybe it was time to pack up and go home. That clock has never stopped, ever! The big clock on the library stopped. Well, let's go! Wait, Stu. What are we supposed to do? We're the fire department. We'll figure it out. Mr. Rilo, the big clock stopped. The big library clock that the whole city depends upon? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that clock has never stopped, ever. We must move like lightning.
was sure he had all the tools, but George still felt like he was missing something. Okay, miss, thank you. Uh, please, step outside, I must listen. What's a little monkey like you doing in a huge clock like this? <laughs> well, would you like me to help you? <laughs> okay, and this goes there. Now, you see? <gasps> what a beautiful clock. Did you make it? I know everything about clocks, but not one thing about understanding monkey. <laughs> well, be more careful in the future, eh? Time is a precious thing. What have we said about bringing pigeons indoors, George? Oh, it's all right. Are you showing him my clock? <laughs> well, go ahead. George, how did this heavy metal toolbox get so... Thank <laughs> you. 